Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sanky84 and welcome to just a little special. Now, I've made this episode just to show off a little bit of stuff that I enjoy doing in my spare time when playing the game. Now, the character I'm using at the moment, I have completed the game on and the main story, but that's not why we're here today. Due to reasons that I don't know about yet, because these are being made in preparation to fill in if Rose ever needs to take a break, I've decided I'm going to do a little show off of some of my settlements that I've enjoyed building. Now I've picked this one because it's a very, very old game. It's one of my first ones I actually went with. And, yeah, it was when I was still learning about my different, you know, abilities in building. So, let's have a quick look at the Starlight Drive Inn. Now, you will notice, as soon as we come up, there has been a lot of buildings, and there is roads. So, yep, this is the type of thing I do enjoy doing. So, a nice big sign there. But as you come up, we've got our nice little welcome sign. And then our little entrance. And these pads actually work. I've got them set up. So even the... Well, actually not the robots. Because all, most of my robots uh, do actually end up flying. Yeah, I've got a uh, defense box on here. But if I was to say be under attack and switch that off. Then I can easily just step and it will open up. And then outside, and I've got one here that does the exact same as well. And some of the characters will use them. As you can see, we were attacked by a, whatever they're called, an, a guai, al guai, whatever they're called. But yeah, so we come through our checkpoint first into a little seated area there, because I didn't want to get rid of the seat. And then we've got a little inside area all the way around this is completely and utterly fenced off the entire way round no matter excuse me one moment um let's just okay so yep um i don't know how they got up there but they did well um go and have a look at them in a bit but yeah they're meant to be on the two Posts I've got guard posts I've got up there. Right, so let's quickly put that away. So yeah, I have built towers as well all the way around the outside. Very simple. It's just basically a guard post with steps and I've built around it a little bit similar but with a lot more work put into it than the one I've got with rolls around sanctuary. Now when I was building this I didn't quite have the glitches perfect, but I think I've done a fair job as it is. We will get into all these buildings in a moment. We're just going to quickly run all the way around the outside, as you can see. And I've got the bit so I can hide behind it if we're under attack and fire out. So I've tried to make this as defensible as possible. And yep. I've even left the scaffolding up that I was using at one point to build this building. And we'll get into... Insa okay, they're the wrong way around. I'll have to check them out in a bit. But yeah, um, yeah, because I was putting all the wiring up and everything, I um, needed to get higher. So I used the scaffold and decided, you know what, let's leave it up. So yeah, we can actually walk, as I say, all the way around the outside. And these, believe it or not, there are people assigned and robots assigned to them. But I'm guessing either they're busy or they're just on different ones. And yep, little jump, we can even walk around this area. And around. A few things still glitching through. But as I say, they will have to deal with them. And another one there. I don't know why I'm walking up everything. The only way part I haven't got is here because this was right on the boundary and yeah so it just means a little bit of agility there to get over but we can, you can still do it 
So yeah, you can reach everywhere quite easy, and there's plenty of steps up to here and to get back down. And hopefully someone's on this one. Nope, they probably all stood on the roof or something. But yeah, so no matter where we get attacked from, there is guard posts on there. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a way of getting this, so all I've done a couple of rugs, and that does the job itself. So inside the tower, actually before we go inside, as you will see at the top, yep, I put my radio beacon up at the top up there as well. And inside here, I have got, well, I don't need to use this at the moment, but should the weather change, we can use that to clear the sky back up, and that's just the power switch for the beacon up top. Down here, I've actually glitched in one of the shops. I've um, put the bar in here, so at night, they'll come up, they'll sit on the stools, there'll be someone in here serving drinks. So it looks quite, you know, as if the settlement is being used. Which one are you? You're, yep, you're one of my defence bots, and I think you are as well, aren't you? Yeah. So yeah, I've got a fair few defence bots walking around. Some are more advanced than others, some have been upgraded. But yep. Right, so the big one right in the middle. We might as well start off with the greenhouse. So as you can see, plenty of water for them. I've got a fair few of them in here. It's all lit up and looking nice. So the water actually seems a little bit better than it does if left. But we've got that. And then... I've just basically used the roofing to make some ramps because I was having issues with some of the robots. Oh, there's Ada. Hello, Ada. Yeah, I was having um, a few issues with some of the robots and some of the settlers actually getting up the stairs. And I haven't actually f finished this off. I, don't know. I might have to do that at some point. But yeah, so a nice big greenhouse here for the settlers to keep them well fed and well hydrated. I will show this off again at the in a, in a minute at night, so you can see how it all lights up. Over here, you this one again. I haven't quite finished. But this is was meant to be before I stopped playing and did another run through. This was meant to be the shopping area. So all the shops were in here. The clothing, the armor, the weapons, you name it. It was all meant to be in here. Apart from obviously the bar, what was out there, and these switches actually do work. The lights do actually turn on and off. And again, I'll show these better off. Now, back here, nothing really. But again, it's a case of this was built and done. So there's a little runway behind if need be. Obviously, it gets blocked off by other buildings. But there's always a way. There's no dead ends in this at all. So, into here. And I've managed to actually somehow glitch i can't remember how i did this but two doors back to back and i think that works out pretty nice and if we pop in here again we've got all of our workbenches and we've got a settler over there we've got two power armor stations and this is the original area there that bit building there that's got more things glitched onto it it's actually the only one that stood here in the Starlight Driving when you start off. Everything else has been added into it. And yeah, of course, I've got me robot up, maker up there. But yeah, it keeps light during the day and all the lights again work at night. And I can turn them on and off and I'll show them off. In here is the power plant. I decided to build it here. So we've got two reactors here so we've got enough power to last us with no matter how much we build and then this is the main switch so i can turn the entire power off to the entire settlement in one go should i for some reason need to i don't know why i'd ever need to but yeah i do and then i haven't quite finished building some of the other stuff that i was intending to do and yeah as you can see i couldn't glitch these bits down i couldn't find a way of glitching it in so i'm gonna have to come back to this at some point and see if i can do it but never mind that for now next little area i'll quickly show off if you run around i've got the gate here because this one gets used and this one does get used a fair amount although i don't actually have oh hello yeah um i don't actually have a switch for this one it's just the floor panels that they use 
And this is still there because for some reason I never decided to do anything with it. It's still got a fair bit in it. So yeah, it's all defended, all protected, and if we pop up the top, we'll have a look at the ones that are meant to be garden, except they're stood on the roof. So we've got one here so we can look out over. And another one. Oh, you've actually decided to come down a bit and you're actually standing in the right spot. Okay, thank you very much. But yeah, we can have a look here and oh there is Lexington, our favourite place for grinding and killing raiders. So yeah, that is pretty much everything apart from the one final building, the big site. And I've left that for last just so I can give you a little warning. Anyone who ha suffers from vertigo, you might want to look away in a minute because I'll give you a warning before I do. But yeah, um, it might set your vertigo off and I would love and at the same time dread to um, ha view this um, in VR. But yeah, so quickly on the outside. So you can get pretty far up and have a nosy in, but there's nothing really up here. So we'll head inside quickly and I can show this one off. So round we go. Yep. Yeah. I had to um, raise up because I couldn't get everything to line up, but I think it works out pretty well. Got a turret here, again, couldn't fill that gap in, so I'll just put a turret there to kill anything off. And here we go. It's basically a hotel. Just room after room after room to fill up so each person who turned up had somewhere to sleep and I have, although ooh, that one's um, not got power to it so I'll have to look at that in a minute, but yeah they're all numbered up and they've all been numbered properly. So W1, it's a white door, that's room 1, 2's across from it, so odds on one side, evens on the other and yeah you're off as well, that's, that's a weird one, but never mind. Work our way up and again it's basically at the same. This time it's B for blue doors, and these have got different beds in them. But again, every single one has got the bed in. And there we go. Right, moving on up again. It might sound a little thing repetitive, but that's kind of what this building was designed for. So, yep, yeah, we've got green doors and the green beds. We've got red and, well, it's not red because there were no red beds. So, yeah, I've got the um, Voltec beds in there. Up to the brown doors because, yeah, each floor is a different colour door and a different coloured bed. We're nearly there. S for steel. And these have all got the bunk beds in them. Oh, oh yeah, I did. Yeah, we did have red, but we changed it. Never mind, that's fine. And then up to here. Now... This is the viewing platform, so anybody who is suffering from vertigo, I will put a little time stamp on when you should skip to. So hopefully that is flashing up on the screen now, I'm going to give you a second to skip, and then we're going to have a nosy at the view. Three, two, one, if you've not skipped, well, don't blame me if you suffer. So here we are, we've got the viewing, we can see right out and down. And we've got a nice view all the way around and I've even made a little sitting area. So they can come up, they can sit up here inside when it's nice or when it's raining. And they can have a look out and have a chat. And I've never actually ever seen anyone up here, unfortunately. What well, is a bit of a shame that you don't come this far up, but never mind. And then I've managed to get... Yeah, this next bit was pretty difficult to put in because this is actually the limit of the height build. This is the height you can actually build anything and I just could not get it in properly. So it wanted to go up. I'm about to put this in like there. Up oh, and now we're at the top. The lights are on so it shines nicely during the night and yes it is all glassed over. So you can if you're crazy enough walk right out to the edge and look straight down over the side. Unfortunately, no, I can't put anything in just to raise up a slight bit because then I could use this as like a defense platform as well. But yep, you can actually see right down 
aim to everywhere and yeah you can see now why I'd love and hate to look at this in VR so that is um, the starlight driving by day now the Sun is starting to set so I'm gonna quickly skip time and we're gonna show it off at night so I'm just gonna sit down and I'll see you in a moment once night's fallen okay so there we go night has fallen and yep as you can see the lights are up and shining nice and there are a few around but unfortunately it's not as bright as it you'd hope but you know it's still pretty nice we've got the lights up here so I'll just quickly pop up to the viewing platform should you wish to come up at night so it is nice and bright for them but again, as I say, no one of them ever seemed to come up. But we'll just quickly run down the stairs. Okay, so welcome back to those who skipped ahead. Um, it's night time now, so I'm just going around and showing off everything that it's like at night. So, as we were making it down, obviously down here, as I was just mentioning, is all nice and bright and you'll get to see in a minute as I get to the bottom once we step outside everything everything looks pretty or at least I hope it does now there are a few things I wouldn't mind changing so yeah there's a few lights going around just so you know you get a feel that it, it is actually night and things are settling down but to prove me wrong no one's at the bar Oh, there we go. There she is. She's coming now. Right, so I'll give her a minute and she can come and work at the bar. But yeah, I think I put that much into this that the um, pathing is a little bit confused sometimes. But yep, yeah, so as you can see, the lights are on in here. And if I just quickly hit the switch, they're now off. Now, unfortunately, yeah, they're not that bright, these ones. So it doesn't make that much of a difference. But I think it still does add to the effect. So let's just quickly, yeah, this one's a better one to show it off. So yeah, all the switches do actually work as intended. And that really is the Starlight Drive in. So I'm just going to quickly pop out the front. Yeah, there's still more light if you need to be done. But there we go. If it's night time, you can, hope, you can still see it from a distance and a nice big bright welcome sign okay now I'm gonna quickly jump over to one of my other settlements that I have done uh, what I would consider a hopefully nice build so I will see you in a moment okay so you can hopefully know where we are right now. That is the red rocket outside of Sanctuary. So yes, I'm going to be showing Sanctuary off. And the reason I've got it to my back is so you don't see anything yet. Because one thing about me, I love building big areas. I love to build my buildings as big as I can. So if I just turn around... There we go. First thing you'll see is a nice big glass building over there. We'll have a look at it in a minute. But we've got ourselves a nice guard post. Now, I know you do not get attacked from this position. But re really, if you're doing this properly, you're going to build it. This would be where you'd put your major outpost because it's on the only road out of town. So, yep. So you can see that there is a lot of buildings and okay that's flying for some reason i'll have a look at that in a minute hopefully it's just due to distance but yeah so as we come in unfortunately yeah um i can't you can't get in i've not uh, i wasn't able to put the pressure plate on the outside it wouldn't let me so we're just gonna have to for this time quickly 
jump around and pretend that she let us in. And yes, I know the frame rate is chugging at the moment. But hopefully that won't be an issue. But yep. So again, so let's just say she's let us in. And we've got the welcome sign all nice and lit up. And if we just pop up the stairs a minute, we've got access to all the security, front and back if someone should manage to get through. And then if you go up the top, we've got just some mannequins wearing a few bits of armour, just to make it look like there are actually more people up here than there are. And another out spot to stand up to look out, should somebody wish to. And this is the siren. I've put a siren in here just in case it ever gets used, but I've never known it to be used yet. But if you pop out through here, we've got, I don't know if I've built this one yet. Yeah, we've got the barracks here. Yeah, I started making this into the barracks. So the idea was going to be that everyone who is posted in there has a bed in there. But right here, we've got our shop. Yes. We've got a glass shop, so if we just pop in here, we've got our clothing down here with some nice clothes I managed to put on there. We've got our general with some of these collar tapes I've picked up, and yeah, just to show off. And even in here, we've got some weaponry that we've got. Which one was that? Oh yeah, me high speed shredding machine gun. Okay, and. Just a basic fat man for now. Right, yep, these are just add things I put in just to make the place look a little bit more lived in and used. But, yeah, armor racks up here, not really full. Because, as I say, I'd never actually finished this place off. Because the idea was to make this the armory up here. And I might have to come back and carry this on. Try and get this finished at some point. But, yeah, these, this was obviously what I was doing until I decided to start doing my channel and then up at the top here we've got the bar with everything in and they do actually use it what's nice they'll come and sit and yeah it's really good and we've got a few more armor racks here so that's the shop or it would be the shops if I'd finished it off so quickly down and out and a lot of these have not been done up yet. Uh, again, I've got to get round to them. And in here, we've got our little hotel slash sleeping area. And we do actually use it. Down here, we've got all the cooking facilities and the baths. So you can take a nice bath. They've got some public toilets as well. I've been up to see Grey Garden. You oh. should go. I'll okay, didn't see you there. And yet, somewhere to get your hair cut. And then if we pop up the stairs, because it's only a small-ish settlement, we've got, if the door doesn't open in our face, there we go. Sanctuary B&B, &B, and you can actually see that from outside, I'll show that off in a moment. And yet yeah, we've just got the couple of rooms here. Not as many, because as I say, there wasn't as many people when I was doing this actually planning to be here. Everyone who turned up. Usually got sent down to uh, the Starlight Drive in. But yeah, that's everything up here. And the only thing that's up top inside is all the wiring and everything. So, and again, yeah, they do work them switches. So, all the street is lit up as well. So it's nice at night. And again, yeah, this one never actually got done. It got left before I could finish it. But this was going to be like my main power arm area and um, there's nothing in that one i've got a nice walkway down there that we'll go and have a look at in a moment and of course oh wait a minute i got the other side of the road down here didn't we quickly yeah we've got another guard post down here because this i do know we get attacked from so again it's the exact same as down at the starlight drive in pressure plate there to open it when it's actually powered up but there's no power getting to it at the moment up the top and you've got the guards you and you can switch it and open it yourself and i've even done an indoor one as well i don't know how good this one actually is whether they can actually fire out of it or not 
for, I think it just looks really good. This tiny little gap there to shoot out of. But as I say, a lot of these are sometimes, it's just more cosmetic than anything else. And I have walled off some of it. Not finished walling it all off. But yet, yeah, I did try and start repairing my house. But as you can see, yeah, it's kind of didn't come out too well. But I started it. Um, just a bit up, we've got down here we've got the shooting range and this actually works again i'll probably try and show this off at night um one of them two of them are constant one of them is a one-off that's the yellow one i believe is the one-off one so we'll leave them for now and i just put these lockers here to make it look like you know you have lockers to get your stuff out of and whatnot got the traditional greenhouse i love building so yeah i made this a bit bigger just to make it again and I actually found something fun out. These water purifiers have to go in dirt. So I can't put it on here like I would have wanted to. However, if you get the patches of dirt that you'd put the plants and food in, they work perfectly well. So yeah, I decided to do that instead just for a bit of fun and to make it more look different. Keep going around. And you'll see we've got two buildings here. Now the first one here is our power plant. So if we just, you can hear the noise already. So if I just open that up. And yeah, I never actually ever put in the main ones. Yeah, all the power generators are in here. And again, we've got the one switch so we can turn everything off at one go, should we wish. And you can actually open it and close it if I actually press the correct button from both sides so yeah you can get in and out and if you're under attack you could actually run in here shut it and you would be okay but there we go let's just close up now just to protect it and in here we have our factory so we've got all of our little bits around here we've got the oh okay you've fallen through yep you're going to see in a minute that, um, as you can hear, there's a lot of ammo that keeps glitching through. We're going to have to sort that in a minute because that's still running apparently. But yeah, we've got the workbenches and everything in here. That's fine. That switch there is actually the recruitment beacon. I've um, put it there and you'll see why in a minute. I'm fine. But yeah, if we come up here, we can see... I've been producing my oh jeez yeah I've been producing a way too much ammo yeah that's been going for I don't know how long um quickly oh no the computer's not up here but yeah everything's in there and even though it's slightly glitched into the wall yeah it was meant to look like it was on the outside but never mind and yeah I've just put a bathroom up here for some unknown reason without a door on it never mind but yeah, I mean, anyone ever needs any ammo, I've uh, built this. Um, yeah, plenty of 5 mil, shotgun shells, 4.5, you name it. Yeah, there's a load of it in here, right. I think I might just go and change that around a minute. But yeah, that is Sanctuary. Oh, no, wait a minute. I forgot one. Yeah, there's this bit down here, isn't there? So in here, I've got another one, yeah, full of combat armor, because I was literally making it, and then selling it. That's how I was making a load of caps at one point, just to get what I wanted. I was going on, so I actually turned this one off, thankfully. So, yeah, that's this one in here. Now, if we quickly, I'll show this off quickly, and then... I'll do what needs to be done. Come on, frame rate, please stay. So, yep, the broad walk as it is comes from there down to here, and we actually have a barn. Oh, we made a nice big barn here, and this one does have Brahmin in it. Now, I don't know what the difference is between this one and the one with Rose, why we don't have Brahmin with Rose, but some I might have to look into. Yeah, I built this, and I was going to do more to it, but I never did. As I say, 
I stopped playing this this file um, a while ago, so there's a lot that I kind of stopped in the middle of doing. But yet, if we um, pop down here along the walkway, we've got a nice outdoor seating area. Now, it is lit up and it does look pretty nice. I just need to figure out why I haven't put any legs on it. But never mind, that will do. So, what I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to quickly pop to my computer in the house and change the ammo because, well, I think we've got enough 5 mils. And then um, I'll put it to night, and then we can have a quick wander around at night and see what it's like there. Okay, so night has fallen. And just quickly, I wanted to say that with this playthrough, there's two things I've never actually picked up. One is the Minutemen. They are still stuck in Concord in the museum. And the other one that I didn't go and see was dog meat. He's still hanging around um, the Red Rockets. So, yeah, I've never actually picked up the Red Rockets either. And you know what? I'm not going to because that's not why we're here. So, now it's night time. We're going to have a quick turn around. And there we go. Sanctuary all lit up and looking pretty. So, yep, we're going to kill the frame rate again as we walk over the bridge. And once again, we're going to just quickly jump off to the side. Your and, appear to be an oh. anomaly in your programming. Perhaps yep. you should have them purged. No, I'm okay, thanks. to see you again. Yep. Right, so, as I say, we're going to quickly just get in here. And it is, as I say, all lit up. I'm not going to run around again, but everywhere is lit up in here. So, it's all nice. And if you come in, you can see that, again, a lot of the mannequins and that have been lit up from underneath. So, it shows them off. And if you go up top quickly, yeah, some of them have got lights, some don't. But yeah, if we go up just quickly up here, you can see that it's all lit up up top as well. And the fans, yeah. These fans are actually double fans. I glitched two fans together to make that effect for anybody who is wondering. So, Anything I can do to help out around? Plenty, but not right now, thank you. Right, so we're going to um, quickly walk up all these streetlights and make it nice to walk up and through Sanctuary. And yeah, with, that's dark at the moment. I'm going to have to have a look into sorting that out. But yeah, so there we go. Sanctuary b, b is open. The sign, you can read it now from the outside properly. And again, everything inside is all switched and working in that sense. We quickly just go up now. Broadwalk itself is all lit up as well. The barn, again is all nice and lit up. Oh, okay, I thought that Bram was um, sleeping there. I'd say that would have been a new one for me. But yep, everywhere is nice. And of course, the little sticky out bit with the tables on is all lit as well. So it all looks nice and everybody can see. So they can come out here, have a sit down, Watch the water go by and see the fish underneath, should the fish ever return. But yeah, that is Sanctuary really in a nutshell for me. This is the type of thing I used to love doing, just sitting, building and seeing what comes out. Yeah, okay, you know, there's probably better builds out there. In fact, I can guarantee there'll be better builds out there. But this has all been done with no mods yeah. and all by myself no nobody taught me how to do any of this and that's one reason I'm actually pretty proud of how it's turned out and why I thought I'd make this video just as a filler just to show it off so yeah there we go we're making more ammo there we're making um, some shotgun shells because we all know how much I love using my shotgun so there we go we'll um, pick them up later on but there we go that is just a quick video to fill in for whichever episode it is that 
I've had to do four rows. So, hopefully, this will come at the end of the series. But if not, I hope you've enjoyed your little break. And I'm hoping that we'll be back to rows soon. But in the meantime, I've been Sanky 84 And this has been Fallout 4, a special bonus episode. Thank you so much for watching. Look after each other. And until next time. Goodbye.